Hey guys, I'm just doing a quick little video here of something that I found at a thrift shop. This is, uh, let's see here. Actually, it's two different pickups. This is a Texas Instruments TI-99 4A computer, which came out in about 1981, and it lived until about 1985 here in the States. It's pretty much your equivalent of early Commodore or Tandy Color Computer um, type computer slash console gaming. Uh, the console cartridges go in there, and then of course expansions are over here. Uh, you can put disk drives and other things in there. Um, I haven't booted it up yet, so I have no idea if it works or not, but I just, just got it, like very, very, very recently. So um, this actual system was at an auction here in town in Merrill, and it went for one dollar, and we got that for a dollar. Then, I was like, okay, well, that's cool. Um, it looks like it has the regular um, Atari slash Genesis slash Commodore hookups as well. Um, it actually comes with an AC adapter, so I've got that. I just have to find hookups for it, which I heard are kind of a problem, but it looks like it's the same kind of hookups that you would normally have for a Commodore or a Tandy, so maybe I'll get lucky and find some of those so I can hook it up and give it a shot. But not only that, the $1 spent there for the computer... I just so happened to go to one of the thrift shops here in town, which once in a while you find some real hidden gems, and sure enough, there was a box of about 48 Texas Instrument TI-99 4A cartridges. And uh, it wasn't a different box than this, but this is the box I put it in, and um, four or five of these actually come with the box and instructions. This is a game called Alpiner. It comes with the box. Um, crazy stuff here. I mean, it's not in the greatest condition, but I mean, come on. So anyway, um, at this thrift shop, they had um, all the games sitting in a box, and they said, you know, $3 each for each game. And so I looked at the lady sitting there, and I said, well, would you guys go $20 for the whole thing? And here, I'm just going to try to get this instructions out to show you. Uh, the instructions in the game is, like, in super mint condition. This is beautiful. I mean, this is like, you don't see... <laughs> old school games like this in such good condition. It looks like it's never even been taken out of there. And here's the instructions. Again, it looks in pretty darn good condition. Alpiner. I've never played Alpiner, but it looks fun. Um, ooh, Alpiner. Anyway, so, you know, I offered the lady 20 bucks for the whole box, and <clears throat> she calls up the owner of the place, and she's like, yes, yeah, some gentleman's here. He's offering uh, $20 for the box of cartridges that you have sitting here. And the, old, the guy on the phone's like, well, yeah, sure, that sounds good. And so he's like, how many are in the box, though? Because they're $3 each. And, and she's like, whoa, well, looks like there's about uh, 15 or 20 games in here. And he goes, oh, yeah, sure, 20 bucks is fine. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I get home, and I open the, you know, I look further in the box. I'll have to fix that later. I look further in the box, and sure enough, there are like 48 games in here. <laughs> Not 15 games, by any means. So I paid, you know, about 50 cents or less a game. For all of these cartridges, um, for the Texas Instruments home computer, and this is crazy, and some of these I've got doubles of, which is cool, you know, it's just fine. Looks like it's a generic, just a generic box for each game, um, and then the, the instruction booklet is what you actually see through it, so that's what you actually see. And then here comes the box of carts that we got, and I'll start with these here since they're harder to read. Um, centipede... Uh, Picnic Paranoia Protector, which I would assume is something like Defender. Oh, look at that. And then here's another copy of Protector. <laughs> oh, classic. Donkey Kong by Nintendo. That is amazing. Then we've got um, Hunt the Wumpus, which I'm pretty excited to try out. Uh, Jump the Wumpus. Oh, no, Hunt the Wumpus. Okay, so I got two copies of Hunt the Wumpus. Very exciting. And then we'll kind of look here. Let's see, Munchman. we got Extended Basic, Adventure, which I'm curious if that's like Atari's Adventure. Face Maker, Jawbreaker 2, Burger Time. That's that Burger Time, the Burger Time. That's exciting. Uh, Mini Memory, Zero Zap, Another Adventure. Video Chess, um, Hustle, Early Learning Fun, Blackjack and Poker, St. Nick. Saint Nick. 
I wonder if that has anything to do with Santa Claus. Uh, let's see, here's a good sounding game. Spies Demise. I don't actually came out in 1987. I don't know if you could see that with this crappy camera. 1987, Spies Demise. Really? 1987, yes. Yeah, Spies Demise. Wow. That came out in 87. That's after the life of the system. We got a couple more extended basic carts. I'm really curious to try that out because if that's at all like Microsoft Basic or Tandy Basic, dude, I'm going to have a blast with that because I love programming in Basic. Let's see. Fathom, uh, Minus Mission, The Mind Challengers. Let's see what this one is. This is Breakthrough, 1989 Data Biotech. What the heck? If this system only lasted until 84, why are there games coming out in 89? Huh. Oops. <clears throat> and then let's see here. We got Video Games 1, Solid State Cartridge Video Games 1, and Tris. T-R-I-S. Weird. We've got Othello, Superfly. These are all upside down. Do this. Othello, Superfly, Videographs, uh... Shisham Trail, Car Wars, <laughs> Car Wars, Parsec, which I've gone on a few websites um, regarding the, the fans of the Texas Instrument TI-99 and, um, you know, forums, and there's some real good, there's really good fan sites out there, which I'll put in the links here um, if you guys are interested in checking that out at all, but Parsec was one of the highest rated games that they've ever came out with on the system, so I'm really curious to try that one out. Um, and then there's the Video Games 1 card again, and then Q-Maze. Which is another one that came out after the system's demise in 87. How crazy. Addition and Subtraction 2. Another copy of Alpiner. Copy of Yahtzee. In any video game collection, you need a copy of Yahtzee. It's a Space Bandits. Reading Roundup. And Beginning Grammar. So yeah, there's some educational games in here. Uh, there's lots and lots and lots of fun to be had. I'm really curious if I can get this computer to work. And get these games going because, man, alive, I am going to have a blast. We're going to have a blast playing this system because there's a lot to be done here. And, wow, I I just cannot believe how lucky I am to find all of this and get it for a very, very decent bargain. And I've been seeing um, on eBay, not eBay, but generally, just in, in general, the prices of these systems... The, the actual console itself is only around five or ten dollars for the actual computer console system itself, which we're going to actually use this really dinky little tiny TV for all our vintage old school computers up here in the clock tower. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm up in the clock tower. Anyway, um, and there's Ryan Bender sitting there looking at the sun. I don't know what they're doing. But um, anyway, that's what I scored recently. I'm pretty stoked. 21 bucks for a Texas Instruments computer and a whole bunch of games. But yeah, like I was saying, the computer itself is not pricey, is not hard to find. I mean, it's, 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 it's you know, not, you're not going to find it at Walmart or anything like that, but I mean, it's not, you know, super hard to find on eBay or on the internet. Um, but this computer itself is usually worth around 5 or $20, depending on what all comes with it. That probably would be a $5 model right there. But where the actual pricing comes in and the rarity of this console is with all the cartridges. So I'm kind of curious about which games I've got that are rares and what are not rares. I mean, I have no idea. But I don't really care because I'm excited to just find a rare lot of video games and a console here locally for cheap. And I did. So, huzzah to the collection. It continues to grow. Anyway... Until next time, guys, I'll put up another video here, and um, uh, make love, not war. Peace out.